welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and check out that merch at sydneyforsyth.com. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a vlog. We're going to go shopping with Dallin's parents just, you know, for fun. They're fun to hang out with. Um, we're gonna go down to Branson, so a little road trip. So I'm actually pretty proud of today's outfit. I'm just wearing these like black mom jeans and then my socks and my belt match and I just feel so like matchy and I just really like it. All right, Sandy, my mother-in-law is here, so we are gonna hop in the car and head to Branson. Of course, got my Red Bull. Hello everyone, how's the trip uh, so far? It's so good. It started raining a little bit, but we're But we're fine, through. we're good. We made it to Branson. Yeah, we did. So our tradition is to eat at Fuddruckers when we're in Branson, so good. which is weird because there's one where we live, but we always ate it when we're in Branson. So I'm excited. Branson one's the best. This is why I love Fuddruckers because it's like an appetizer. You get pickles and you can get jalapeno cheese sauce. Like, look how good that looks. I don't know why it's like liquidy. It's never like that. So then you can dip your pickles in your cheese sauce. <laughs> Free appetizer. We are now at Tanger. We Look at Tanger. JD's shirt. It looks like little airplanes, but really, it's a little man with a surfboard. It's a whole bunch <laughs> of This is the saddest Sandy's ever been because the Disney store is closed. Disney. She's just standing there looking through the window. <laughs> so last time we were here, Dallin didn't really get like anything because he just didn't like anything. So we're like, okay, you could get a couple things. Man. And Oakley had a lot of really good sales. So we got three shirts, and the best part is when Dallin gets new clothes, that means I get new clothes because I just wear his clothes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited about that. I don't know if you guys remember last time we came, but Dallin, I actually didn't put it in the video because we ended up not getting fudge, but he said <laughs> that I could get fudge if I was good. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I guess I was good because yeah, I get Finally fudge this time. Fudge. I'm so excited. I got cookies and cream fudge. I've been craving it for so long. Who's ready for this? I don't even know if I'm ready for this. Ooh, that looks beautiful. It looks like ice cream. It does. Frozen in time. It does. Should I just take a bite out of it? Yeah, send it like a sandwich. How is it? It's really good. So my dad brought Sid in here, and now she is um. This is like really cheapo, but this is like nice. Cheapo. It's seventy percent off. You don't want the little hippie thing? I'm not a little hippie though. Oh, okay. Yeah, they have like the mini ones, but you can't fit wow. like anything. You could fit the vlog camera in there. That's pretty much it. Raw. <laughs> better than the other one. Oh, feels the vlog better than the other one. Cute. I'm gonna What does this mean? Um, I'm nervous. <laughs> what? <laughs> So I wasn't going to get anything, but I ended up getting this bag and it was 70% off. It's real leather, so that means I can have it for a lot longer than my cheapo bags I always get. So it wasn't even supposed to rain today and it is like dumping outside. That's insane. Um, okay, well, who's ready for a story time? Me, but actually not me, so I'm gonna do it um, another day. So I won't look like this, but here's the story time. Now I'm ready to tell you guys a really good story time about me living in a tiny closet under the stairs for my childhood room. Story time time. And sorry my background is a little weird, my dress is a little messy. Uh, I'm gonna do it while I get ready so that I get two things done. I think I wanna curl my hair today because um, this is what it looks like. So let's get a quick brush in and then we'll get started. I'm gonna start with my makeup. I also have food, so we'll see if I even get around to that. So I used to live in a literal closet. I'll try to find a picture and I'll insert it here. This was my closet. So just to start, what my closet was like is you would walk in and it was like an L, so it'd go like this and then like this. And the stairs were right there, so it was literally under the stairs. When you walk in on the left side, it was kind of indented just a little bit, just enough to fit these like cubbies, like those IKEA cubbies that you see. And then it had bends like these, and it'd have all my clothes in it. 
So like I literally had so many clothes. I had to like shove them all into these little bins. It was, I don't know how I did that to be honest. And then on my right side, I just had like shelves or like pictures, whatever decor I had in my room. So then you keep walking and there's this wall that goes down. So at this point you have to duck under. And the amount of times I hit my head on this wall, standing up out of bed or trying to walk down into bed and I hit my head. And on this wall, I had like basically one of these boxes like this instead of having it like this it was like this nailed to the wall and then that's why I kept like all my perfume and stuff and I would always knock that over and then I did have a little mirror I actually still have the mirror it's in my living room I had this little circle mirror and there was a perfect spot for it in between where the indention was and right before this wall thing was there and there was a mirror and like it sounds like a lot but this was all in like a tiny tiny little space and then you duck under in my bed. It was a twin, I think. Fit perfectly into the, the L part of the closet. I need to do my makeup. I thought that I could double task, but I'm honestly so bad at double tasking. I don't know if this is gonna be. You know what, let me just do my makeup real quick and then I can probably double task while I do my hair. Okay, makeup is applied. Here we go. So then next to my bed, I just had this like mini little like Ikea dresser. And then the best part about the closet is that there was no electricity in there. Not a single plug because it's a closet. So me and my dad drilled a hole through our wall that connected into our laundry and storage room. And there was a plug perfectly on the same wall. So it basically went like under through the stairs to this wall. And then we plugged an extension cord in and this took forever. And then I had an extension cord and literally any type of power in my room came from this extension cord. Now the other problem was that there was no like airflow in my room and so I think I literally like had hallucinations due to this and really crazy dreams. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I had a fan in there and then like during the day I would always have to leave my door open so that there could be like oxygen coming in. That was like a perfect curl, wow. So that's like the setup of my room and I have more that goes along with that, but let's talk about like why in the world was I living in a closet and when was this? So I said my childhood and I guess this still technically is my childhood, but it's more like my teen hood. Um, so this is the house my dad still lives in right now and this is literally where I started my YouTube channel was in this closet. So I think I moved into the closet when I was 12 or 13. I don't remember the exact age. I was in eighth grade and I remember this perfect because me and my best friend were at her house and we we're just like man it'd be so nice if I had my own room she had her own room and I shared with my sister so I had six siblings living in this house I think there was only five of them living in the house but anyway so me and my sister shared two of my brothers shared and then the other two of my brothers shared and so I was tired of sharing the room and me and my best friend were like wait you know that closet under the stairs like it's huge we could totally turn that into like a tiny little bedroom so yeah Yes, this was completely my idea to move into this closet. My parents didn't like force me in there because I was the least favorite child or something like that. No, no um, traumatizing situations. This was all my choice, um, which honestly, like what was I thinking? Because me and my sister's room was huge. Like it fit two people perfectly fine. Anyway, <laughs> so basically we came up with this, this idea. We got out a piece of paper and like planned out the layout where the bed was gonna go and thought of the little like cubby dresser things. And it was all coming together. And then I went home and I think I asked my parents, I was like, is it cool if I just like move into the closet? I don't really remember, but at the end of the day, whatever, I still moved in. <laughs> so then I just went home and I moved my bed into the closet, me and my best friend did it. I found all these like little cubby Ikea dresser things that were in like the other storage closets and I cleaned them out, found new places for that stuff, put the cubbies in my room and I had two, so it was like six cubbies and I had two stacked on top of each other and then found a bunch of those little bucket things to put in there and moved all my clothes in. I think I had to go through my clothes and get rid of like half of them because there was no space in this closet. And then I'm pretty sure this is like when my dad came home and there's just like stuff everywhere in the living room and he's like what the heck is going on i'm gonna like, get my own room i'm moving into the closet and everyone's like okay like what like everyone probably thought i was the weirdest person like why did they end up with such a weird sister i don't know they probably saw themselves that today anyway 
So my dad was like, okay, well, I guess this is actually happening. Let's get you power. So that's when we drilled the hole in and just like all the little stuff, getting the logistics together of living in a closet. And then that night I slept in the closet and that was my life until I don't remember exactly what age I moved out. So I moved in when I was like 12 or 13 and I think I moved out when I was 15 if I remember correctly I'm pretty sure it was my sophomore year or like the summer between freshman and sophomore year so I was either 14 or 15 there was actually a video on my channel so maybe I'll go back and try to find it of me literally moving out the thing with me moving out is I was moving into my brother's room so by the time I was moving out of the closet like my oldest brother was gone and then my brother Logan was supposed to be moving out and then I think he didn't and then he ended up having to live in my closet for a little bit but anyway my dad was like you can move in there this year whatever year it was because Logan's supposed to be moved out so like it was like a reward and what was gonna happen because two of my brothers were moving out so that means there would only be one boy and two girls so in one hallway there were two bedrooms and a bathroom and then on the other side of the basement was one bedroom and one bathroom. And me and my sister were in the one bedroom, one bathroom. So we were gonna switch to where us two were in these rooms and then my younger brother was in the one bedroom bathroom. So it would just be like boys, girls, you know, we can sh the girls can share a bathroom instead of me and my brother. Thank goodness. And me and my sister had always fought over who gets the huge bedroom because the bedroom that my two older brothers were in was huge and it had a little bit of a walk-in closet. And I ended up moving into that bedroom, spoiler alert, I moved in. I literally had a desk, a couch, a bed, a dresser. Like this is the room that I lived in until I bought this house besides when I lived in Utah. So we always had this debate of who was gonna get the bigger room. Well, when I moved into the closet, it was kind of just like, Sid literally lives in a shoebox, so she gets the bigger room, which honestly, like, clutch play. I did not plan that, but like, go me. That was honestly amazing. So yeah, when I moved out, I literally one day was like, okay, I'm moving into the big room, and my brother was out of town or not there or something. I moved, I'm so mean. I literally moved everything he owned into the living room, and I moved all my stuff in. So he came home, and I was just living in his room. Like, am I okay? I'm such a bad sister. Oh well, I'm a good sister now so there's just more and more that goes with the story that is so funny so let's just get into those good times so during this time I had sleepovers all the time and so like where would my friends sleep because I had this tiny little room well if it was one friend we actually sometimes would sleep in this little bed together and we would do it to where like my head's here and my feet are here and then her head's there and her feet are there and that worked out pretty well but it was kind of hard to breathe in there which I have some story times about that in a minute coming up so we actually had a feeder room in my parents house if you guys are confused about like the setup of my house, I actually have a house tour of when I lived at my dad's house up on my channel. So if you just look up like probably my maiden name, Cindy McGee House Tour, it'll probably come up. So then you can get a good idea of like what I'm talking about. Anyway, so we always just sleep in the theater room. The other thing was my family started going to Bible study when we start high school our freshman year. So I was still in middle school, but my older siblings were in high school. So they were leaving the house at like 6 a.m., which means at about 5.50 a.m., I heard constantly getting woken up every single morning, up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, yelling, let's go, let's go. And because my bedroom was literally under the stairs, I heard every single step. I literally memorized people's like steps, like who was who, because I could hear it so distinctly in my room. And that was one of the few, actually probably one of the many downfalls of living in a closet was just always getting woken up. Dallin's mowing so hopefully you guys can't hear that too loud. So another downfall would be changing. For the most part I feel like I would go just grab my clothes and go change in the bathroom where I could like stand up fully but like this closet was super thin. You know I only had like this much room and then I could stand up in the main part of it but then it went down so where the part I could stand up it was still really thin so trying to change was just like really difficult oh there was also like a perfect little spot where I had this like hamper that I like shoved in and yeah my room was like always a mess because if you put like one thing on the floor it looks like a disaster so at least it was easy to clean up but still and if you go back to like my first videos I literally like for the first year and a half or so was filming in my closet like you can if you're wondering what this closet looks like go click oldest videos go down you'll see I lived in a closet Okay, so then other things that happened, and this one was the most traumatizing. 
I don't really know if this is true. This is what I have decided happened myself. I had terrible like nightmares and hallucinations possibly. I had terrifying nightmares in there. And I think it's because the lack of oxygen. I'm pretty sure every night I just didn't have enough because that closet had no like ventilation in it. So I'm pretty sure I had like hallucinations. And my biggest fear is the dark and spiders. I sound like a five year old. I know it's just I don't know. I had some traumatizing childhood moments with the dark and spiders, I guess. <laughs> so I would literally, like I'd be awake, eyes open, but all my lights off, and I would see giant spiders crawling around in my room. And then I'd turn the lights on and there was nothing there. I would have really bad nightmares. Like I literally used to wake up in the middle of the night, like pretty much every single night, maybe like five times a week, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, like sweating, super scared. I thought I was like getting abducted by aliens or I was just like really bad things happening to me or like I'm really scared of paranormal stuff. And so I would always dream about that kind of stuff happening to me. Maybe it was, ooh, maybe the closet. So yeah, basically I lived in a closet and it was honestly so fun. So yeah, um, that's how I got my own room when I was supposed to be sharing. And boom, hair's done, makeup is done. Anyway, that is my closet story time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing about living in my tiny closet under the stairs. It was definitely an adventure. Also, today is the day that our new merch has launched, so you can click the link in the description and buy the new merch. I hope you guys enjoyed this story, and I love you. Subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!